All right, Walter Gandit here, and I'm gonna talk to you about working out, staying fit, five minute workout. When you're too busy to do a regular workout, five minutes. This is one of my main tools. All it is is a log that I sawed off finger length, bored a hole in the center with my knife, just working my knife in, working from both sides until you get it through, stick. Stick goes, took my Swiss Army knife and I bored a hole in it. Okay, so the second peg goes in, it's just a stick of wood, carved down, so it'll fit. Push it in and I can take this apart whenever I want. Two pegs, it's loose. You know, it's not a super tight fit. If you want to buy this, you can go to a sporting goods store and you can get this plastic wheel for, I don't know, about $8. I do 20 rollouts as far as I can roll out. In the beginning, you're just going to do short ones. Once you get better, you're going to go out as far far enough so you keep your elbows in line. Don't put them out like this. You're torquing your shoulders. You're going to have shoulder problems. Don't put your head up. You're going to have, you're going to have neck problems. With this little wheelie thing, you look down. As it goes out, you look down. Keep everything in line and you're not going to screw yourself up. If you keep your elbows out, you're torquing your elbows. If you keep your shoulders out, you're torquing your shoulders. I have bad shoulders. I've had problems with my elbows from doing construction for years and years. I'm still fit. I'm 63 and I'm still fit. Five minute workout when you don't have time for anything else. This, it's not a big secret. 20 reps of this, 10 and 10. You don't have to do all 20 at once. You can do five and five and five and five if you want. But you're gonna do 20. You go out as far as you can comfortably go out. I always go out a little bit on my first one, go out further my second one, and the third one I'm going out as far as that I can go. If I go too quick, I've got my back screwed up. I blew it out working construction, so I have to be careful with what I got. I still walk straight, but I gotta be careful with what I got and I gotta be careful how I do things. I'm asking you to do the same thing. Don't don't go great guns right off the start. Let your body warm up. You don't have to go to the gym to be fit. My hands are on the handle. It sits here and I roll it out. One, that's far enough for my first one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You take a breather if you want to. As I go out, whew, I breathe in as I'm pulling in. Whew. Breathe out as I'm going out. Okay, this is gonna work your abdominals. It's gonna work your triceps. It doesn't work your biceps that much, a little bit. It works your back for sure. Next part of my workout. Really done, push-ups. I do 20 push-ups, two sets of 10. I like to do it so my feet are a little elevated. Be on the uphill side. Starting out, I like to toe in my hand just a little bit, not too much, just a little bit. I find it's less torque on my shoulders because I got bad shoulders. One foot goes over top of the other one, so I have to work on my balance. This is why it's a five-minute workout because you're working all your muscles. Set of ten. If you can't do ten, do five. One. Two, three, don't do them too fast. Four, five, work for form. If you're a beginner, if you're a woman, if you're a woman, do them like this. But don't do them like this. At least stretch your knees, your knees out so you have a bit of a workout. And you're gonna do them like this, you're gonna do them like this. One, okay? My knees. Six years old, she was doing gymnastics. 
She said, you want to watch me do push-ups? I said, sure. She did 20. So don't tell me that women can't do push-ups. She was doing military push-ups, 20 military push-ups. Why? Because she was doing gymnastics three times a week and they required her to do push-ups. It was part of her regime. And all the girls can do them. She had two sisters. They could all do the same. It's what we use is what we get. And what we don't use, we lose. This is, this is how life works. If you don't use it, you're going to lose it. This is how everything works in life. The brain says, I haven't used this in a long time. We don't need that anymore. Oh, my shoulder hurts. Oh, I can't do this. Uh, stretch your shoulder out. I do yoga for one hour a day, every day. 108 moves. I recommend it for anybody, young or old. It's going to keep you it's going to keep you fit, it's going to keep you limber, it's going to keep you stretched out, and it's going to keep you youthful. But I've made the commitment to do yoga for one hour a day because my back was blown out. I was headed for, for a wheelchair. I wasn't going to go in a wheelchair. So this is my story. If you use it, you're going to make it better. If you don't use it, you get worse. And this is, this is the way life is. We can complain about things or we can do. I'm teaching to be a doer. You go far in life. Once you can do your push-ups like this, I want you to go up on your knuckles. If I'm on concrete, if you're training for martial arts, maybe you want to do that. I don't want to have big gnarly knuckles. I like my knuckles just the way they are and I don't want to have arthritis when I get older. So I do it on my knuckles, but I don't abuse my hands. My hands are a gift. I want to have them supple and useful my whole life. You're up on your knuckles. Cross one leg, and down you go. Once you can do those comfortably, I'm going to want you to do them a little more dynamically. It's, this is a five minute workout, so you want to get as much workout as you possibly can in that five minutes. So, you cross over, back is straight, you're going to come down, you're going to come all the way up, down, all the way up, down, all the way up. Once you can do those ones easily, I want you to do side to the sides and backwards and forwards. So you're going to do what I call sweepers. Foot still crossed, come down, sweep. So you're doing a circle. Sweep. 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 Okay? Being fit doesn't come for free. You have to use your body. The other ones you're going to do is side to side. These ones are the harder ones. You don't have to do 10 all at once. You can do three all at once. It doesn't matter. But you're, you're doing a quota of how many? 20. So it starts like this, my feet are crossed, feet are crossed, I come down, one, two, three, four, five. You're going to do ten of those and ten of the backwards and forwards. And that's your quota for push-ups for the day. You don't have to do any more than that. It works your shoulders hard. This is, it's a good workout for your shoulders. It works your biceps hard. And it's working your back. It's working everything because you're sweeping to the side. You, you only have one foot on the ground, so your whole body's working to maintain balance. It's a good workout. Last part of the workout. If you can, do 10 chin-ups. If you can't do chin-ups, do cheater chin-ups. 
do what you can do. If this is all that you can do, so what? Nobody's judging you. It's just you. But it's gonna it's gonna do a lot to increase your back strength, and you'll like yourself better. Okay, last thing. You're gonna do horse stance. One minute. That's that's your workout. That's the end of the workout. As soon as you do horse stance. Well, what is horse stance? Did you ever see how somebody rides a horse? They don't ride a horse like this. They ride a horse like this. This is what it looks like. Feet are wider than your shoulders. Back is straight. Not like this. This is not, you don't ride a horse like this. Horse stance is like this. You can be like this. Doesn't matter, but you're down. So it, look, it looks like this. Okay? You can go all the way down if you want. That's more like sitting on the pot, though. This is more like riding a horse. And you're going to hold it for one minute. If you can't do one minute, you do a half minute. If you can't do a half minute, you do 15 seconds. If you can't do 15 seconds, you'll do 10 seconds, but you're going to do the equivalent of one minute. Work in your body. If you want to do three minutes, if you can work up to three minutes, that's great. If you have knee problems, don't go down quite so far. You, you have the option as you're doing these, right? I'm in my horse stance. I can raise up, I can go down. If I want to work my, my ankles like, and my calves more, I can do that. You can, you can make this workout be whatever you want. So, you, you count the time and let's go. And you're just waiting. You, you, like this, you can come up and go down. If you come up like this, this is cheating. This is like standing, right? Oh, my legs, my legs are bent a little bit. If they're that weak, that's all you can do. That's what you're gonna do for starters, but you're gonna work your body. Okay? This is the workout. Is it easy? No, but it's only five minutes. And it's key. you're working your entire body. You're working your abdominals, you're working your back, you're working your shoulders. If you can do the chin-ups, great. If you don't have a chin-up bar, you can hang on the edge of the molding on your door, or you can not do them. This is up to you, but you have to do 20 push-ups, horse stance, and you have to do the wheeler thing 20 times. That's it. And you've worked your whole body, and you feel good about yourself, and you didn't have to Oh, I don't have the time to work out. I don't, I don't have time to go. You don't have to go to the gym. This is it. Five minutes. You can do it when you get up. You can do it before you go to bed. You can do it on your lunch break. You can do it whenever you want. It's only five minutes out of your day. You certainly have five minutes. Get fit. Thanks for watching.